what we need to do is to determine our depth of our hole so that we can have the right amount of wire going down into the hole and we don't have a lot sticking out of the top. What I've done was I've taped down a gold cup itself and you notice that there's no solder inside of it so what I do is I take my wire itself bottom it out come in here and mark it. You can mark it with an ink pen or you can just cut into it like I just did and you'll notice that there is a couple of notches right there now what I do is go into the outside of it and when I pull it out and to lay the notch right where I cut it and check my distance now remember you they want approximately one wire diameter away from there so what I do is I lay a piece of wire just like that just to verify my distance and if you notice it is approximately right here to this notch for this one now don't rely on what I'm telling you here to say okay this one's the right notch because each solder cup is different okay so I lay my insulation right here even with it and then all I have to do with that notch is right there it's even with it is come out here to the front of my solder cup and just clip that excess off just like that back in and verify and that it fits the hole and that I have approximately one wire diameter away now that one wire diameter includes the insulation but remember there's solder going to come out of the top so what do you think will that work looks beautiful to me okay, now that we've got that done back in here to the one we're going to work in. with come back in here and add solder to this solder cup okay I don't believe in flowing it in it's a lot easier for me to come back in here and, and just sit it all the way to the bottom just like that clip it off grab another piece do it again and then again this is a lead free no clean solder diameter is a point o two o grab your wire with one hand put a little bit of solder on the end of this tip just like that to create that heat bridge Okay, I've got the wire that I'm going to insert in. In my hand. So let's heat this up. Get the solder to melt. Now, if I was to go ahead and add that wire into it, I could be pushing my contaminants down into the hole. So what you want to do is to come back in here Get again. Any contaminants that might be possibly hanging around. Add a little solder to the end of your tip now creating that nice little heat bridge grab the wire in one hand next thing you do is going to come back here to the back side of it about midway again watch it heat up let it get nice and hot see it's heating up put your wire in hesitate for a minute because everything's got to heat up push it to the back wall and release your iron and the requirement standard states that how much solder do I have to have here is very simple is by IPC requirements is from right here to right here it's got to go up at least 75 percent fill okay you want to maintain contour layer of the wire to plan your solder joint should look exactly like that you still see the natural again the natural lay of the wire 100 percent fill is your goal wetting on the inside of the solder cup distance approximately one wire away from the solder area that includes insulation I hope you've enjoyed this solder tip for the month my name is Norman Meir this is Best Incorporated and have a nice day